Have you ever had one of those moments where you just feel powerless and insignificant compared to Mother Nature? Whether it's a natural disaster that affects an entire city or just being swept away by a riptide, it's often too easy to be mesmerized by the beauty and forget the sheer power that surrounds you. Personally, I haven't felt that in a long time, but on my recent trip to Guatemala, I got to experience both sides of Mother Nature. So we're in Guatemala. Estamos in Guatemala. Anyways, um, yeah, we're here for a little while. Should be fun. To see some lakes and volcanoes because that's what you do in Central America. by locals when you're trying to order like we waited we were waiting to order and at least two people came up oh. after us ordered got their food and left before we even ordered there's <laughs> at least like eight <laughs> I, was I, was like, oh. I think it's like a fruit shot still think they're fucking volcanoes <laughs> all right so tomorrow we're doing this hike and we're gonna go there's one volcano that's not very active, but it's right next to one that's very active. When we got here, fireworks were going off. In my head, I'm like, dude, we can hear that volcano from all the way over here. But it's really just a New Year's celebration. And I'm an idiot. To be clear, it was like a small pops. You can't tell me it's not a volcano. Okay. Versus a whole ass volcano. <laughs> Volcanoes or fireworks? The world may never know, but we use the rest of the night just to chill and enjoy Antigua before starting our adventure the next day. Davis is conceded. Now taking the slides up the volcano. Vamos a caminar. What are you thinking, Davis? Not much. Just kind of walking. We're starting the hike up the volcano that's named Acatenango. It's one of the most famous hikes here in Guatemala. Should be fun. We'll see. It's very cloudy. We might not see anything. That's pretty pessimistic. You've been saying you have good summit luck, though. I do. It's always way too nice. I think my favorite part about this, which kind of goes for most things you do in like Guatemala and countries alike, it's like how informal this all is. Like we just asked the dude, the hostel, how to do it. And he's like, oh yeah, I'll call him. They'll pick you up at 845. You pay me. But here we are. Couldn't tell you what group we're with or what bus we went on or anything really. So we're supposedly about halfway, I think a little more than halfway, I'm not sure. Been hiking for like a little over two hours. It's been good. It's probably the highest I've been, so it's interesting feeling the effects of the altitude. But we chilling. Go right behind. Vibe check. Vibe check is solid. The vibes are definitely alive right now. And they're more on the good side than the bad side, so as David just said, we're living life. Lead us to victory. Yeah, I agree. Ooh. 
You all in favor of shutting the door? I'm telling you that. It's a cozy little casa. Yo, I really just got two, two right-handed gloves. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mickey. <laughs> So vibe check, vibes are good. It's funny though, because we just look out, the door's open for some reason in our tent, but. We're right next to the door too. Yeah. <laughs> just pretty sick. But the fog is just like moving really quickly. And then like about two minutes ago, we got like a clearance and we can almost see like kind of far, which is, makes me hopeful for tonight. But like, we're just saying like, if we get something tomorrow, if it's clear tomorrow morning, which it probably will be, like that'll be good enough. We'll get an epic sunrise. We'll see Fuego. We might see Fuego tonight, depending on how late. What I really want to see, yeah, I yeah. want to see like point. no clouds and see like black and then fire. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want a borderline dangerous eruption. Oh, that that's smoke. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Come on, <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Imagine it pops right now. <laughs> no, no. I was kind of a little unnerving. Yo, what? Yeah, Holy fuck. Lay in front of me. Oh my god. We're gonna die, guys. <laughs> Don't say that, Raphael. Definitely feeling very grateful right now. I mean, it's so cool to be able to see something like you're used to just seeing on like TV or National Geographic. But literally just all night we've been watching this volcano erupt. That's a testament to mother nature and how powerful she is. Like, it's crazy, it's literally just lava. <laughs> it seems so innocent from so far away, but then like you hear the stories about like in years past, like bigger explosions that are, you know, fatal for, for people in the surrounding area. Very, very humbling, but it's been a great time. Also, this dog's really cute. Okay, so it's like 4.30 right now. We decided to make the trek for the summit. Most people in our tent are not. <laughs> the winds are kind of crazy up there, says our guy, but I think kind of what's the point of going all the way up here without summoning? We'll see. Davis, how you feeling? Feeling good, I feel like I need to pee. Yeah, that's it. Vibe check still alright. Vibe check still alright. So I see some colors. Back from Akatenango Summit. And, uh, this is gonna be my TED talk. People always ask me about the pros and cons of hiking in vans. What's good, what's bad, vans. Pros, you look fucking steezy, okay? 
that's the only pro for sure. Cons, uh, there's no traction. That's just one of the, uh, the probably a hundred cons to doing it, but. You but you look sick there? as f I look sick as f you're right. And I am sick as f All right. <laughs> Successfully vibe checked. The Lacon Nakatenango. And yeah, that's about it. Off to the lake. And learn why they save your life. Buenos dias. We're in a new city. It's kind of cool because we got here last night, so we didn't really get to see much of the city. We're now just in the midst of it and get to explore it. Um, here first thing this morning, although it's not really the first thing, we slept a lot, and we're now finally feeling the effects of Akatenengo, which I think I was saying wrong the whole time. them or not and I didn't know them all perfect. Okay. And remember the last time I hit one? Cuts to me eating shit. <laughs> pose, pose, pose. Overall I've enjoyed Panaha Chell more than Antigua I'd say. It's not as like historical obviously like they've built newer stuff whereas Antigua is just like this has all been here since however many years. Which has I mean that's cool in its own regard. So we're leaving Panahachel this morning. Not a slow morning, we've been pretty slow this entire time. Panahachel's cool, I like it a lot. A little touristy. Part of the reason we're at Lake Atitlan at all is to like see the surrounding areas, so we're going to another village. And we actually kind of balled out with what, what kind of accommodations we got, so psyched about that. And this might be our ride. I definitely recommend traveling like the locals do when you're in a new place. It can help you feel what life is really like there. But even with the simple task of taking a truck two towns over, Davis and I found a way to mess something up. So we uh, made a mistake. So basically, our hotel, we thought it was in San Antonio. Turns out that's just like part of the address. It's actually in the town in between San Antonio and Panachel. My dude was like, oh, you want to go back there? We just passed it. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> we didn't look at the address. <laughs> We didn't look at the map because my phone was like dangling off the truck, so there's no way I was gonna unzip it. Then <laughs> we stopped, then we stopped. I was like, What is this? Hello. 
So every now and then you gotta treat yourself to a place that's probably way too nice for you. But when you're in Guatemala, it's not that expensive. Save our love.